Our motoring tip of the week concerns turbocharged engines. Now there's nothing new about turbocharging. It's been around for years, but we're starting to see, instead of it being the territory of the optional engine or the high performance car, it's now moving down into mainstream, fairly affordable cars as a great way to you know, ring more engine output, more fuel economy and more power out of a small engine. Now, if you've ever driven a turbocharged vehicle, you know what I'm talking about. They've got, they're really peppy. The engine's really lively. I drove a two liter Hyundai Santa Fe to Florida a couple years ago, and those mountain grades in Virginia, West Virginia, North Carolina that I drive a couple of times every year in the Chrysler minivan, it's struggling on those grades. The Hyundai Santa Fe with the two liter turbo, up those grades like they didn't even exist. And great fuel economy to boot, so there's lots to like about it. Now, for some vehicles, uh, for example, a full-size pickup truck, I would still far and away prefer a normally aspirated gasoline V8 engine. That is your most durable, longest lasting, easiest to maintain and cheapest to maintain vehicle you can ever imagine. When you buy into the turbocharged engine, if and when you get to repairs, they're going to be more expensive. Now, in terms of maintaining them, you want to make sure, of course, that you're using the best motor oil, change it at regular intervals with the best oil filters. And that's usually the filter that you get at the car dealership. So if you're having your car serviced there, you automatically get those filters. If you're going to the lube shop, it's usually an opt up. You can opt up or pay a little bit more to get a genuine oil filter, money well spent. Another good tip for turbocharged engines, when you come off the highway, that turbocharger, which the impeller has been turning in excess of 100,000 RPM, it receives cooling and lubrication from the engine oil being circulated to the main journal of the turbocharger. You don't want to take that away till it slows down. And that takes a minute or two, so you should idle the engine in a turbocharged vehicle for a minute or two after a highway run before you turn the key off. As soon as you turn the key off, you take away the lubrication of the main journal. You don't want to do that. So remember, with the turbocharged engine, when you get to your destination, you're pulling for fuel, let it idle for a minute or two before you turn the key off. That lets the turbocharger spool down or slow down with lubrication and cooling by the engine oil so you don't damage the turbocharger. That's your motoring tip of the week. If you're watching this on Facebook, make sure you like and share us, and also make sure you check out our ongoing contest to win lots of swag from Motoring TV and our sponsors. And if you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe. 30 years of Motoring TV, a virtual automotive video goldmine at your fingertips.